Because when the Lord come back to destroy this place, he ain't coming back playing no games, man. Not at all. This is not a joke, man. This is real life. This is a matter of life and death, whether you want to believe it or not. Next scripture, uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 10 and 21. All right. No, actually I started verse 20. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, talking about you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, that's in a Gentile state of mind, sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. That's right. You sacrifice yourself, you sacrifice your kids, you sacrifice your family members for what? The joys of this world. For the pleasures of this world. Mainly for money. That's why you have a lot of celebrities in an in a, uh, entertainment business. Whether they're actors. Whether they're musicians, rappers. What have you. Basketball players. They, they do what? They sacrifice friends. They sacrifice friends and family members for that money, man. For that fame and fortune. You see what I'm saying? So it says, the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, see the Lord call you a Gentile, because you act just like these heathens. These heathens don't care about the Lord. And most of you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans don't care about the Lord either. That's why the Lord refers you as the Gentile, because you act just like the heathen nation. Especially when it comes to money, man. You be the first one to be quick to kill your family for fame and fortune. Just like, uh, Jennifer Hudson, in order for her to become a famous uh, singer slash actress, what she do? She, she had to sacrifice her family, her mama, her brother, her sister. That's why they got killed. Kanye West, same thing with his mother. In order for him to be at the top of his game in the music business, what he do? He sacrificed his mother. That's why his mother ended up dead. You see what I'm saying? Just like recently, uh, with what, Robin Williams. He got sacrificed so somebody else could become a bigger star. See what I'm saying? Hey, this, this game goes deep, man. This ain't no joke out here in this world, man. A lot of these athletes and basketball players, if they don't do what the, uh, the white man tell them to do, guess what? You, you finna get kicked out of your, your position. Like Ray Rice. If he was to do what the white man told him to do, guess what? He'll still be a football player. But now, since he bucked up against the system, they bringing up this scandal against him with his wife that happened about six months ago. Now he's finna be a what? An ex-football player. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with Michael Vick. When he bucked up against the system, against this, this white man's system, guess what? They brought them charges with the pit bulls against him. Now he, he served time in the, in the pen, and in order for him to become a football player again, he had to what? Humble himself. That's why now he's a spokesperson for abuse against animals. You see what I'm saying? You got to humiliate yourself and humble yourself to keep this money. Just like a lot of these rappers you see out here. You think they tough and hard, but really they homosexuals on the low. And in order for them to get this money, they got to let the white man play with their booty. You see what I'm saying? That's the name of the game. That's how it goes. You got a lot of people out here in this world that actually have talent, but they don't make it. Why? Because they're not willing to sell their soul for their money. You see what I'm saying? That's why you see a lot of these actors getting the top leading roles in movies and stuff. Why? Because they sold their soul to this white man. The same way Satan tempted the Lord by saying, if you bow down and worship me, worship me I will give you all this. In the same way the white man do the Negro, Latino, and Native American. He takes a Negro out the ghetto who ain't never had nothing in his life, puts a million dollars in front of him, 
Say, oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, I want more. Okay, well, this is what you have to do. Go to these private mansion parties, go in these rooms and have orgies with other men and other women in order to keep your fame and success. That's the name of the game. That's how it goes in this world. They don't have a casting couch for nothing. You see what I'm saying? There's always a catch to everything that this white man put out here in front of our people. If you want a free car, you gotta do this. You gotta what? Give them all your information. Tell them where your mama live, your daddy live, your son live, your daughter live in order to get this car. So if you miss a payment, they are gonna check everybody in your, in your background find out where that car is. You see what I'm saying? It's always the catch to everything, man. That's why here in America, the worst kind of slavery for our people is what? Mental slavery. Our people walking around saying that they're not slaves, when actually they are. They think that they're free, but they're not. Just like you went to go get you something to drink, which is nothing wrong with drinking, but who owns this store? The white man. See what I'm saying? In order for you to to get you a liquor store, what you have to do? You, you have to find you a building that's owned by the white man, pay thousands of dollars for a liquor license that's owned by the white man. See what I'm saying? You have to follow all his rules, the city codes and ordinances that's ran by who? The white man. And if you break any one of them, guess what happened? He come and snatch your business. Just like your home. You, you pay a mortgage for 30 years. Never missed a payment. But one year you don't pay your personal property tax, what happened? They come and take your home. So that means what? Our people are in slavery. We're not going to get up out of this slavery until who, who they call Jesus Christ come and deliver us up out of this hell hole. See what I'm saying? That's why our people are in the condition they're in. Because they refuse to listen to the Heavenly Father and the Son. But if they turn back to the Lord then the Lord will make things better for them. But in the church, they tell you, well, I had a vision, the number five. If you give $500 five times a month, the Lord is going to bless you with $5 million. Well, that's five lies he done told with, within five minutes. You see what I'm saying? The Lord ain't told him nothing like that. No. We in punishment here in America. That's why we in the situation we in. That's why we the, 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 uh, the, First one's fired and the last one's hired. You see what I'm saying? That, that's the truth of what's going on. But the church is not going to tell you this. They're going to tell you that God loves everybody. And if you give your money, God going to bless you a million times. No, the Lord wants you to know this knowledge of the Bible of who you are. That's your blessing and prosperity right there. You see what I'm saying? Because if you know who you are according to the Bible, you can conquer everything else that's out here in the world. You're not going to walk around blind anymore. See what I'm saying? And that's the truth of the matter. But it's up to our people to want to know the truth and want to know who they are according to the Bible. Instead of walking around like blind zombies listening to your pastor in the church, which is lying to you. Just to make you feel good to take your last five dollars. Now you don't know how you're going to make it through the week. You got to get gas in your car. You got to feed your baby. You got to pay your rent and your light bill. But the pastor tell you what? Have faith in him. Give him your last $5 and the Lord going to bless you. Well, really, he'll... <laughs> so that's Satan. That's Satan right there. Well, really, the pastor done pimped you at your $5. Because now you need help. And now the pastor ain't willing to help you. He burn rubber in your face in his new jag or his new Cadillac. He tell you to come back doing business hours of the church. Come back Tuesday, I'll see what I can do for you. You come back Tuesday, he ain't nowhere to be found. Why? Because he know he done pimped you out your money. That's why the Lord going to destroy half of these church pastors around here. Matter of fact, let's switch gears here for a second. Talk about these wicked, wicked church pastors. Where it go? Jeremiah, 
Start at Jeremiah 16 and 19. 